What up, YouTube? This is uh, Creative Writing Studios back with another video. I have this video I saw on my Instagram. I just wanted to share it with you. And uh, I'm going to let them talk about it. I'm going to chime in. This is what my wife tell me. I don't care. Look at me. I don't care what the fuck we have to go through. I'm going to go through it with you. We're going to go through it together. I don't... Listen. If we gotta, if if you gotta stay with me and find a job, we're gonna we're gonna sit all night going through applications together. I will not let you fall. You understand me? I am never gonna let you fall. I'm always going to have your back. I'm always gonna make sure you have it. Look at me. You're not broke. If you can sit there and put, put food on the table, then you're fine. You got it. All right. So first, I want to say, I mean, it is a good video to see that his wife is, is loyal and supportive like that. Uh, that is a blessing to have a woman who is willing to be with you during that tough time or difficult time in your life. Um, you know, and uh, just on the other note, you know, this is just how my brain works. I always think about other perspectives, but I can tell just how her body language was. She prefers to play the dominant role in a relationship just in the initial beginning, how she grabbed his chin. I was like, oh, wow, she's a little aggressive with that. Uh, you know, I could tell that she really uh, almost prefers to be with a man that's quote unquote struggling or having a low point in his life than to be with an already uh, successfully made man. And I think a lot of women have that same sentiment. Um, you know, brothers got to realize never underestimate the woman's um, need or want or necessity for her to feel needed. The woman needs to feel needed. She needs to feel like she belongs in your life. Uh, she wants to feel like there's a, a reason that she's here and that she can make a, a real impact on your life. It's kind of, it's very, uh, humbling when a woman feels like she just has to almost kind of exist. She doesn't really have to contribute much to maintain the maintenance of your life. She really wants to be the one of the galvanizing forces of your life. And that's what a lot of these relationships are about. You know, you meet a woman, she, you know, acts all nice and, you know, acts like she's, you know, really uh, 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 obedient and uh, submissive and uh, supportive. Uh, you know, that's that's her representative trying to make you comfortable but when she gets more comfortable with you she understands you she really starts to try to make the relationship calibrate towards her being the center point of your life and uh, you know that's just nothing you know evil or vindictive about it it's just how the woman works uh, she tries to make things about herself and you have to calibrate the relationship to always stay focused on the most high always stay focused on your purpose in life because if you're not careful she will make it about her but um uh, Going back to the main point of this video, I said, uh, you know, I, a lot of women, when they feel like they're with a successful man, they understand that they have to put more effort into keeping a relationship stable rather than uh, being at the bottom and trying to get out of chaotic relationships, which they prefer. I'm telling you, a woman will prefer to be in a chaotic relationship or a chaotic environment rather than be in a peaceful, um, placid environment. They really don't feel comfortable and I'm not saying that to all women, but the vast majority of them don't feel comfortable in a more content uh, place. They'd rather be in a place of dysfunction. That's just how they work. They love chaos. Very similar to how Russell Westbrook, and those who y'all brothers who follow basketball, you know, Russell Westbrook, he's a he's a, a star, all-star. When he played on the Washington Wizards, he was all-star. getting a triple-double every night. Um, you know, he's an all-star on a bad team. But when he goes to the L.A. Lakers, for some reason, he forgot how to shoot <laughs> and because he couldn't live up to the pressure. So in the same way, you know, uh, Russell Westbrook, he could be an all star on a bad team with with um, uh, what's the name? Bradley Beal. Uh, he could play really well on a bad team. But when he teams up with LeBron, already made four time champion and Anthony Davis, he doesn't live up to the to the hype. He doesn't live up to the pressure. Uh, same way with these women, when they meet a man who's already established, 
uh, and they don't really have to struggle alongside them. They have a hard time dealing with that pressure. Um, and, uh, you know, that's just, you know, there's just some things you got to look out for. So am I saying that, you know, as a, as a man, if you're struggling, should you, you know, not be with a woman who wants to be with that? No, I'm not saying that, but you got to look at that. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a small red flag. It's a small red flag that a woman wants to be with you during the hard times, because in a sense, she's, she's telling you that she prefers to be in this type of environment. And she wants to be that type of ride or die chick, uh, you know, uh, and she, once you start to elevate to a higher level, she may, you know, I'm not saying it's guaranteed. She may find you unattractive now. You know, a lot of women, they prefer to stay in the mud. They prefer to play in the mud. They want you to stay down there with you. And they really want to take control of the, uh, the relationship. So you got to take that, you know, as a small red flag, just keep an eye on things because there are also some women who are just very supportive and loyal. They want you to uh, they they want to be there on those tough times. They want to show that they're, um, you know, this is their time that they can really show some of the best qualities that they have is that when you go to down uh, situations, they can be there to support you. But I'm always reminded of the, of the quote, uh, the scripture in Ecclesiasticus chapter 25, uh, I believe around 20, the 22nd verse, it says, um, a woman, if she maintains her husband, is full of anger impudence and much reproach so if a woman is in that role where she's taking care of you like you're her son she's going to eventually start treating you like her son she's going to start getting disregardful disrespectful disloyal and um you know that's that's just how it is a woman is not supposed to be taking care of a man for uh perpetuity you know if you, you got to get down you know you got you're down you got to get back up on your feet in the six months you got to get sure make sure you get back up on your six months and Make sure you reimburse that woman for the the help that she gave you. I mean, uh, she may, you know, say that she doesn't want it, but you give it back to her anyway, just because of, of the self respect that you have. And I guarantee you, she'll have more respect for you as a man if you do that. So uh, that's all I got. Um, oh yeah, one. More. <laughs> There's always a quote I was, <laughs> I heard a while ago. It says, you know, you show a woman heaven, she'll complain about the view, but if you show a woman hell she'll be ready to decorate it. <laughs> oh, man. So that's all I'm saying. Just understand that women, they like that chaotic environment, man. So don't be surprised that, uh, you know, uh, sometimes when you're in a bad situation, you feel like it's going to be it's going to be bad. Your woman actually gets excited. <laughs> you come home, you lose your job. And she's like, oh, OK, what are we going to do? Man? Like, that's, she's like more amped up than when you were ready to plan a vacation. <laughs> Just to take inventory of the type of woman you're dealing with. Uh, take your time in these relationships now. All right, peace.